This place had a 10,000 person wait list. Today I'm at Peggy House. Let's see if it's worth it. And I spent a total of $100 plus tip. The cheddar cornbread. We usually save dessert for last, but I guess it's first. Some of that honey. Holy. I honestly prefer cornbread from a soulful spot over this. I don't like the cheddar and cornbread combination, but the cornbread is sweet. It's kind of moist. I give it like a solid 6.5 out of 10. These orange pepper wings look type sad. It's mid. It's like a tangy lemon pepper buffalo type of wing but it's like a light lemon pepper type of vibe let me give it one more try let me get one more bite i prefer regular lemon pepper that's yeah, cool but not for me like a cool six out of ten i was expecting it to be like sweet like orange like a panda express orange chicken i'm gonna need you to come here yeah that's a chicken sandwich bro yeah it's crispy double stacked light mayo i can't wait to bite it we don't like pickles so let's get rid of that it's kind of sour yeah, I think they brought in like pickle juice. That could definitely taste like the pickle, like the sourness, the bitterness. But it's not bad. It's crispy, flavorful. This is a good solid sandwich. Add some of that green ranch. It tastes like a green goddess ranch or a Peruvian green sauce ranch. The thighs feel kind of like breast, but they're not breast. Yeah, they overcooked it a bit. I wish it came with a cold sauce. Let me take one more bite. But this milk bread is fire. The Alabama white truffle sauce. Dip it in the truffle sauce. Holy. It tastes like ranch and truffle. I prefer the green sauce. But the truffle sauce is not bad. But overall, this chicken sandwich is like an eight out of 10. The salted egg duck, I thought it would be a little bit soggy, but it's still crispy. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, it's a mint too. And it's a bit dry. Yeah, the salted egg tastes like egg yolk, which makes sense. You ever had a boiled egg and you ate the middle? It tastes like that. It's not raw, but it still has like that slight raw taste in it. I feel like this is more like a quiet taste, but to be fair, cause it's creative, I'm gonna give this like a solid seven out of 10. I don't think I'm gonna get this again, but it's not bad though. Wait, I almost forgot. Let me try it with the, the green ranch. Let me get my meat wet real quick. Tastes better with the green ranch. 7.3 with the green ranch. The truffle sauce. The green ranch is better. And last, but certainly not least, what we all been waiting for, that chili famous hot chicken. I heard stories about this. I heard it's so good. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. We gotta try it naked first. I taste the flour note. I think it's the peppercorn. Mm. It's not that spicy. It has that Nashville taste. Okay, I'm starting to fill it now. It has a little kick. It has a little kick. That green ranch. And I could taste a hint of white sugar. That green ranch has a nice bit of brightness to it. <clears throat> Damn, I'm starting to fill it. But I must warn you, the flavors are kind of unique. With the green ranch, it's a solid 8 out of 10. Without the green ranch, I give it like a solid 7.5 out of 10. Let me try it with the, the white truffle. He also went heavy with the paprika, and I could definitely taste the fire spice. If you don't like unique flavors, I wouldn't go here. White truffle not bad in this. I could definitely taste the sugar in this. Yeah, solid 8 out of 10.